Welcome everybody. <laughs> Having a baby made a bit of a difference for today. Um, also an earlier start, Baksham, we usually start most, 99% of our programs are from eight to nine o'clock. So for mommies, it's a bit easier because it's not that bedtime crunch, um, which I'm dealing with now. So I wanted to first introduce myself for anybody who hasn't met me or at least hasn't met me in person. Um, I'm Michal Weiss and Living Chassidus is an organization that is, oh my goodness, she's so cute, sorry. <laughs> I just keep seeing babies. Um, Living Chassidus is an organization that Baksham started seven and a half. Now we're reached the half point. So it's seven and a half years ago. Um, for my birthday, I had a Fabrengan with all my closest friends and I spoke about how at the time, there was a big trend for a lot of self-help that wasn't coming from Judaism. So I kept explaining to all my friends that actually Chassidus and Yiddishkeit really has the answers and can really give us this guidance and this clarity um, that we're all trying to get at this point in time in our, in our, you know, in our history, in our personal lives and stages. So that was kind of the birth of this incredible birthday, because all my friends said, um, if it's so true, then come teach it to us. So that's how our weekly shear began. And then I realized that we needed more than a shear. We needed to really build a community that lived with the same concepts. And that is what happened. Um, that is what happened. And it slowly began um, with a group of friends. And now it is not only is it an incredible group that has gotten married and had children and you know now there's an alumni uh, section to living cities but now it has grown to such an ex to such an extent that we have groups um of every you know every year since we've had new people new friends new members um so that is the basis of living cities our goal and our why the reason why we exist is that cities needs to be not just learned, because I've spent many times and many years where you grab a safer and you're like, wow, that sounds like a really lofty concept. You put the safer down and you say, okay, well, I thought about something godly today. Um, but in the Hayyamya or Vav Teves, it explains that every single concept in Chassidim, even the loftiest one, has real and applicable lessons that should be learned and should be lived in, in, in a you know, in a real way, in a vaida. So that's how Living Chassidus began, and that's our goal, and that's what we're trying to achieve. When it's not corona times, we generally also have a big, uh, like, you know, part of it, which is that friendship and that bonding, and now we're trying to keep it up, even though, um, even through this change in stage. So, yeah, so that's, that's that. Living Chassidus also has many different programs. Um, some programs are to help locally in Crown Heights. For example, we have Shabbos Gems. So a huge shout out to Adina. She's on this call and she runs our Shabbos Gems and we set up incredible families with incredible guests and we're trying to help people bond and, and you know, find that beautiful family. We've had many, many times where a fa uh, one of the Living Chassidus members finds a mashpia or somebody, you know, the family gets really close and they host her Shabbos Kala or her Shabbos, you know, Shabbos Brachas or whatnot. So we have that aspect. We also have different parts and different programs throughout the year. Right now we're running an incredible program to learn Lashon HaKadosh, which is, you know, biblical Hebrew. So if anybody doesn't have those skills yet, they can work on them and improve them. And we gave out, you know, all the materials. It's, it's flashcards and weekly classes. And it's just, we, we really, really have our brains working hard to try and figure out what our girls need, what the members need, what, you know, either, even out of towners. Now with Zoom, we've been able to reach a much bigger crowd. Um, and it has just been so, so powerful to, to be able to do that. Um, and Living Chassidus, a huge part of it has to do with the members. So each one of the members, especially I see a bunch of them over here, are part of this leadership team, which, um, means that they have volunteered to help make Living Chassidus amazing and help other women um, in this same stage and age and whatnot. So I want to introduce an incredible 
hardworking, amazing, devoted lady who has taken on our biggest program of the year. And I am so, so proud to say that we have her. We're the luckiest for having her. So I want to introduce Eliana Viva, and she is running our Systematic Avoid initiative, initiative, and she's going to explain about this particular program and all the steps to it. So thank you, Eliana. Hi, sorry, I was mu muted. Um, well, thank you, Michal, for that awesome uh, introduction, but I also could not do it without an incredible um, team behind me. So uh, I want to take this time to thank Adina for being the schlepper and the poster and the uh, order and coming in um, and basically Thanks picking up any, you know, mess, last minute things that needed to be done. Um, let's see. And then Ruta for being the awesome um, uh, social media guru because it's not my forte <laughs> um so she is incredible for you know coming up with awesome catchphrases um and condensing my way too long emails so that they're short sweet to the point thank you for that um and then bracha for being here to turn on the zoom and record and everything <laughs> thank you um okay so um Let's see, yeah, 60 days, okay. When we were coming together to discuss what we were going to do for this year's program, we kept going back and forth in terms of, do we want to have a theme? What are we thinking in that regard? And something that came up consistently and I would say pretty steadily was that, um, you know, like how Michal said, we're, we're blessed to have an incredible, incredible, incredible calendar that gives us various energies throughout the year that we can tap into. So this time of year um, is the healing, healing after destruction, healing after uh, pain, healing after difficulty, right? We just came out of the um, three weeks and we're coming out of um, uh, the month of Av and now we are entering into a time that if we really truly tap into the energy that is presented to us and given to us, then we can cause this to be a very monumental or pivotal point in our lives. Um, at, this, at the same time, uh, with this program, this, this program is designed to help everyone to tap into that energy, right? To give someone a, a structured um, setting in which they can uh, do daily journals and learn a little bit and then um, get a prize every couple of weeks. And so we are really excited that you all are here and that you guys are signing up for um, the self-improvement and healing after what might have been a very difficult um, last five or six months for everyone. Um, I know in Crown Heights, uh, it was different for everyone with COVID and everything that has been going on. Um, and we wanted to really present this program from the standpoint of not only healing after the month of Av, but also healing after um, a pandemic. And even while we're in the midst of a pandemic still, whatever that may look, might look like for you. So that is just a little bit of a um, I guess, intro to this year's theme. So it's something that you could keep in mind as you're going through and doing your journaling or making your, um, uh, your goals, which we will do tonight. And then, um, let's see after that. Okay. So this is how the program works. You will have your 60 days book, beautiful book by Rabbi Simon Jacobson. And in the beginning, there's a bunch of really beautiful pages um, that if you have time, uh, maybe the Shabbos or um, at some point, really read through them. I did um, this past Shabbos, and Shabbos and Rakham El is my favorite time because you can feel the, the change that's coming in the air. It's cooler now. It's less humid. It's not as, like, um, stifling. And anyways, it's, he gives a lot of really beautiful insights into the um 
the time of year that we're entering and even into the month of Elul and really beautiful Placidus that goes along with it also. Um, so basically this is how the, the program works. Every day you should um, ideally read the day entry. So here we have the um, a little bit of a, let's see, has the date here, 8th of Elul. It'll give a nice little quote and some facts about the day that happened. And then over here, it will give a bit of an intro into the theme that he wants to talk about for the day. So for the 8th of Elul, it's taking initiative. And then at the end, there's an exercise for the day. Now for this exercise, in order to qualify for um, the prize, you only have to journal once a week. You don't have to journal every day. If you want to journal every day, great. Call a vote to you. Um, you're putting more, you know, oomph into the program. And yeah, I just want to remind everyone that whatever you put in is what you'll get out. Um, but also you have to, you have to at least read this every single day. So say for like Lamed Av, you read it, but you don't want to do the exercise. Okay, that's fine. But you should at least try to do one of the exercises a week, but you should definitely read this daily. There will be someone who posts in the WhatsApp group that we're all a part of uh, each week and asks, uh, and they will ask who their quota for the, for the week. And that quota is um, reading the daily reading every day and then journaling once a week. And whoever did it will send, you know, uh, hands up or an emoji, whichever. And we will keep tally of who did and did not um, do their quotas. And then every two weeks when we have a for bringin, we will reveal what the, that week's prize is. And for those who are out of town, we will sh um, send them to you, of course. Um, but we will wait until the very end to send it. That way it's not, you know. Complex. Can I ask a question? Sure. Where do we send the emoji and the, or the hands up or the thumbs up or whatever it is to? Is there going to be like a group or something? There is a WhatsApp group. Um, there are okay. a couple of people who I didn't, it wasn't, I sent an email to those who I didn't have their telephone numbers. And um, if I don't have your telephone number and if I have not added you to the group yet, then um, yeah, try to either stay on after, um, the for bringing tonight or before he comes on we can exchange numbers and i can add you to the group okay all right i'm just gonna message michal and uh, michal will tell you to add me i guess if that's okay okay what's your name sd rapaport oh yeah okay um all right cool thanks thank you um okay of course, if anyone um, isn't clear about the, uh, what the quota is, you can go to um, the website and there's a 60 days FAQ there, FAQ, um, and th that will be able, or you can click on that and it will tell you um, what exactly we're looking for if you forget. Or you could, um, you could message either myself or one of the admins of the, um, of the WhatsApp group. And the website is livingchasidis.org slash 60 days slash FAQ slash. Um, okay, so let's see. We have about, one second. We have about 20 minutes or so until he comes on. Michal, am I forgetting anything? You know when the Fabrangans are? Uh, yes, so um, one second. I don't have my notebook nearby. Um, are you part of the WhatsApp group or are you joining from one of the other um, public groups? No, I, I have the WhatsApp. Okay, so I added you already? Yes, I'm um, um, Raka's mom. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I'll post the, the dates in the group. I don't have my notebook near me. It's in my room. Okay. Yeah, I'll post them. Okay. Um, something I'd add, if you got, if you don't mind, um, the idea that we're we're doing this and we're all in it together, so we're all a group, 
at the same time, it's your own personal work. So for example, your journal, you do not have to share with anybody else. It is yours and it's your private relationship and bond with Hashem. It's your growth, your experience. So, um, so don't feel pressured to have to, you know, make it sound pretty. It's not like you have to submit it at the end or anything. You can make it as real and as deep as you want it to, to be. Um, something else to note is that the purpose of the prizes and the purpose of the Farbrangians are, it's, it, it's really to get our Nefesh Bahamas, you know, our, our animal soul kind of excited as well. Because it's, it's very, I, I myself, I know for myself, it's very exciting to sign up to a program and you're like really good about it in the beginning and then it's like, a week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever, and slowly it starts to to get harder to maintain. So, um, so what we're trying to do is to give, you know, give that little push of like, okay, I have to maintain my, you know, I have to do my daily reading, and I have to do at least one journal, and 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 I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get that for bringing. I'm gonna get that prize. I'm gonna get that, you know, growth and all that. So you get the spiritual aspect of it, of that, you know, really bonding and knowing what's happening and really having that step-by-step -step process of doing Elul for real. You know, we always, at least for myself, before I started this program, I felt like, oh, Elul Tshuva, and I'd spend the whole month saying, oh, Elul Tshuva, Elul Tshuva, and I didn't know what, you know, how to take it and make it a step-by-step -step process. What does that actually mean? So now, Baruch Hashem, now I feel like I actually, you know, make it a real process, like a real, you know, it's really a journey for me. Um, and not only that, but I come to Rosh Hashanah, I come to Yom Kippur, which is a, the time when we get the brachas for the entire year. The entire, the entire year. year. Here, I feel. Here, I feel. Sorry, there's like a Sorry, there's like an echo. Okay. Um, okay. Here, I feel that um, that it's really, I, I'm, I'm helping, I'm doing my part in bringing brachas down. So, so I think that's also important to, to keep in mind. And um, we can do this. This is going to be very exciting. And it's yours, but we're also in it together. So if you need help or if you need, you know, some sort of boost or you feel like you're falling off the bandwagon, so to speak, just jump right on. We're all in this together. We can all accomplish it. And by the end, we're going to have an incredible celebration. You know, after the great dancing of Sumchas Terah, we're also going to have our living Chassidah celebration for completing the program. So I'm very, very, very excited to get started and get to know you guys even better. Thanks, Michal. Yeah, I knew there was something I was forgetting. <laughs> um, You're doing great, Eliana. Way to go! Woo! My first time. Come on. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, so like Michal said, um, we have some awesome prizes lined up, and uh, myself and the le leadership team had some fun brainstorming them, and we're very excited to get them to you, and it's going to be good, and as I just want to reiterate what Michal said, if cost for Shalom, because everyone's going to do their stuff, and everyone's going to, you know, be able to be on board and not have to deal with their next Shalomas, please Hashem. But um, in the event that you forget one day or um, you forget to journal, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Uh, we're all about hopping back on the train. Like, hasn't left. You can come back on and you can still work towards the, um, the final prize and the following prizes. Okay. So, um, let's see. We have about 15 or 20 minutes until... Rabbi Glick comes and speaks to us. Um, and for those who have their journals, what we can do tonight, since it's already almost, it's, uh, it's not quite Shkia yet, but we can go ahead and prep for um, the first day. Uh, go ahead and get your journal. And on the first full page, we're going to open up and we're going to make the, um, the uh, accounting, um, the accounting, if you have the if you have the 80 uh, excuse me if you have the 60 days book we're looking at page xi um the green page looks like this is there anyone who doesn't have their um their 60 days book tonight near them 
No, but is your camera on? Because I'm on speaker view and all I see is a picture of the Living Facetus logo. Yes, my I'm gonna have your speakers at your video. Yes. I don't have the book yet. You don't have the book? Okay. So I will add I will post a picture to the WhatsApp group, okay, of today's um of the page. Thank you. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. All right. So it should go through. Um, Raisa, do you have a book with you or do you need me to add you to the WhatsApp group really quick? Raisa Hartz, is that your last name? Yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, I have a book. <laughs> Sorry, what? I have the book. You have the book? Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I, I got your, um, I have your number. I. It, was like lost in my emails, so I'll I'll add you to the group after, okay? Okay, no problem. Right. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's see. How to use this workbook? Okay, so start a journal for the work you will do in these sixty days. On the first page of your journal, create a list of items you want to change in your life. To help you along, create three columns labeled things I need to work on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your first full page. Um, so like if you open up the journal, this is like the, the front, when it comes to here, and this part, it doesn't have lines over here. So you want to go to the first full page um, spread that has lines. Then, the top on the left page, you'll say things I want to work on uh, between dot dot. And then, you can put the the year here. So Tuff Shinpei, Tuff Shinpei Aleph. And then underneath that, we're going to put myself and Hashem, myself and others, and then me and myself. So it should read things I want to work on between myself and Hashem, Myself and others, me and myself. Are you able to post a picture of that to the chat? Because I don't have a notebook like available right now. Sure, I would be more than happy to. Awesome, thanks so much. And then, once you've done that, the top part, we're then going to go down the side. Um, so, the left side tool. And if you want, you can put in parentheses Torah. You don't have to. If you can remember, then do that. And then underneath it, we'll do emotional. And you can put in parentheses prayer. And you want to make these spaced out. So put like four or five spaces in between. Um, because you want to have, hopefully, a couple of uh, things to fill up each spot. Um, OK, and then underneath. Emotional, go four or five spaces down and put action oriented. And this will be um, in parentheses mitzvot. So depending on how you want to read it. And then another four or five spaces and put other. So these are other things that you want to work on that don't pertain to Torah, prayer, or mitzvot. And I'm going to Take a picture of it now and post it to the group for those who need. I want to add how awesome this is. 
I've had Barksham, we've been doing this now for, I think this might be our sixth year or fifth year doing the SAI. Um, and I want to share how cool it is when I come back to Elwell and I look at my journals from previous years and to see my growth, to see how much I've changed and what my priorities are and certain priorities that I made it to me to be a growth for that upcoming year, I've actually reached. So you're really able to see incredible amounts of growth. And if we just make this time to do it now, you'll reap the rewards for the rest of your life. Yeah. Okay, Shem. <laughs> I know I have my, um, this is my third year doing it, and I have my other two journals in, in my room, and so I also have gone back through, and I like glancing at it. You see how, see how, um, oh yeah, Bracha, she's, she's showing off her journals. <laughs> nice. Okay, and while everyone is finishing that up, um, I'm going to just read the, the first daily reading. So everyone who's here, awesome. You guys are Yotzi on the daily reading and doing your quota for the week. So kolakavo to you. And after I'm done doing the daily reading, then we'll take five, ten minutes or so um, while we wait for Rabbi Glick to come on. And we can go ahead and start filling out our um, charts of things, uh, like goals that we want to put on our charts. Okay? So preparing to take stock. Today is the first day of two days of Rosh Chodesh Elul, which actually falls on the last day of the month of Av. Elul is called Chodesh HaCheshbon, a month of accounting, as it comes at the end of the spiritual fiscal year. It's also considered the month of preparation for the new spiritual year that begins with Rosh Hashanah. The two themes of Elul, accounting and preparation, are interdependent because how we account for the past is how we prepare for the future. In Elul, the word in Aramaic means searching. We examine the mistakes of the past year in order not to repeat them. In particular, this, meaning, uh, this means taking an honest look at what is trapping us and preventing us from truly moving forward. Obviously, fundamental changes do not happen instantly, but self-transformation is possible. It is possible to the extent that we want it, that we examine ourselves and identify issues that need work and that we invest ourselves in that goal. In short, what will happen to each of us on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur has a great deal to do with how we prepare for these great days. We can be certain that if God created life, he gave us the power to change life. If God gave us the ability to get into patterns and habits, then he must also have given us the power of the soul to get out of the habit. Just like we got in, we can get out. Any faith in God has to include faith in hope and faith in transformation. Faith that we will be given or that we will be, that we will be forgiven for past mistakes and faith that we can change. Ask yourself, do you believe that self-transformation is truly possible? Do you want to change? Are you prepared to resolve to do so? And then the exercise for today is open the journal. You have prepared for the accounting work that you will do this month and in it record your answers to the above questions so if you want to also journal on these questions you can awesome for you but right now we're going to take next 10 minutes and just think about goals that we want to put on our um, accounting chart also if anybody doesn't have their journal yet you can still do this I would I would strongly suggest to take the time now to do it even on this you know blank piece of paper and then add that into your your journal when it arrives. So now's a good time. You have that set time because we always say I'll do it later. It's a bit sometimes a bit harder to make the priority. So hope everyone gets to do it now. <laughs> 